Hi guys, I'm Blessing and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, she's back. So I hope you guys are well and I hope, you know, you are doing everything that you want and you're living your best life or if you're not, that you're planning to. I know that we're still amidst a pandemic, which is really shitty. Really, really, really. <laughs> And I hope you're surrounded by loved ones and people who care for you. And you you have friends and family and everything. Um, and I got a cat last month. Uh, not last month. I got a cat last year too, at the end of last year. His name is Jacob. He's an American short hair and he's a kitten. He's five months old right now. Uh, when I got him, he was three months old. He's literally my son and my baby. Um, I actually love him. I think if I didn't have him, I think I'd probably feel worse than I already do all that I already did anyway so let's talk about the three things I've been obsessed with right now I've been obsessed with America's Next Top Model uh Euphoria and Britney Spears so let's start with America's Next Top Model I have not been obsessed in like a good way I've been obsessed in a like WTF way because when I was younger, I feel like maybe you too, like when we were younger, do you remember watching America's Next Top Model and then even seeing makeovers and being like, oh my God, why is she acting like that? Whatever. But watching back and seeing like people react to it, those girls are going through psychological warfare. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Because imagine for most beautiful when you have long hair then all of a sudden they're logging the whole thing off and then you're being sent home the next or you're being body shamed or you're being made to feel like you aren't valid and all these girls are saying like they tried to speak to Tyra and Tyra only spoke to them during the elimination like it's, it's all a farce and they felt like they needed more support. One thing I'm thinking of right now is someone called Kenya. I don't remember that, her last name but when she went to south africa in her cycle she had to do this photo shoot and there was this model and he was like groping her and he was like trying to chat her up before the photo shoot and in the photo shoot he was like grabbing her bum and he was like rubbing himself on her and then she was telling like mr j like that he's doing this and they were just like what do you mean and i was like what do you mean what do you mean so what's your what's your sentence for, for her electric chair <laughs> And then I think they basically told her like there's 50 people here, like he can't do anything, but that's not like the bone of contention. Like sexual assault like can happen in front of any like, everyone. Like it's just like, literally like, how can they say that? And then like, there was this whole like arc of her like gaining weight through the whole season. And then like when they had to do like the seven deadly sins, they made her gluttony. And when they had to do the like animal photo shoot in South Africa, they made her the elephant. Like it was so fucking shitty of them. Like literally horrible. And like, I just, it's so, it's so many like more things that they did that it's just like, oh my God, oh my God. And like the race change. And you have to race against other blogs. Race? <laughs> They're like, you're gonna be sw like swapping races. And they made all the black people like white and all the white people black, like literal blackface. When we were watching, it didn't seem that bad, right? At all. Like when that girl had a gap and Tyra just casually made it bigger. Like, and I'm just like watching like, especially I feel like we're now exposed to modeling more in like everyday, in the everyday world. Cause I mean, people can be an Instagram model or models are on Instagram and you see the different types of models, the different sizes, races, like shapes, like everything, different styles. And in America's Next Top Model, they were working on giving the models a signature look. Cause I feel like maybe Tyra had a forehead or something. So she just felt like everyone needed a signature hairstyle or whatever. But as a model, I'm not a model, but what, what I can see as a model, you're basically a blank canvas. So why would you need to give yourself a mullet or platinum blonde hair or bright pink hair it doesn't make sense like if you fit the the client's style then they're gonna book you, book you regardless like i just think it was very ridiculous i just feel like they effed the girls up so badly like it genuinely didn't make any sense at all and then i was watching like all these interviews and these girls being like tyra hated me like she was horrible to me and then she and they were bringing up the fact that she hated all the girls who kind of bed resemblance to Naomi Campbell 
the whole show is a mess like you don't realize until you go back and watch it like very problematic especially all the things the judges were saying to the girls like it honestly made no sense like it's supposed to be constructive criticism to make them better models but you were not constructively giving them advice to help them become better models you were critiquing them as people and not being helpful at all like i feel like the girls must be like some sort of strong in a way to kind of survive that because if you're on a show for like two months i think maybe for two months someone's telling you this is something this is what's wrong with your body this is what you're doing wrong why do you smile like that like your personality is dry like it's gonna get the better of you after a while should i use powder should i try and do something okay and what did i say i said euphoria i've been watching euphoria season two the whole thing is a mess like i feel like there's not really season episode season two episode four really confused me because there wasn't really any storyline to it it was just like a bunch of dialogue and like different characters like there was no story progression like we're episode like we're four episodes in and there's no recall back to like key events that happened last season, for example. You know, McKay's assault from his um, frat group or whatever it's called. Cat basically being a, a cam girl. I was like, so I got a cam girl. All these things like Nate basically strangling Maddie. There's so many things they have that have not been addressed. And like, I know behind the scenes, like, the the cast have like not a problem but there's been like conflict between the director or the writer of the show and some cast members like barbie who plays cat like i think she had a disagreement with the, the writer so he basically cut her out of a lot of scenes like and you can tell like euphoria like there's a lot of like dick like i understand that maybe like we're kind of desensitized to boobs now but I'm not desensitized to flaccid or erect penises on my screen. Like, everywhere you turn on Euphoria is like, dick, dick, dick. Like, it's honestly a lot. Like, and I'm like, oh my god. Unnecessary too. Like, when you least expect it, there's going to be a penis on your screen. Like, at the end of episode four... Sorry, sorry if you haven't seen it. End of episode four, like, why is Cal's penis just out? It's getting weird. Was it necessary? He peed on the floor and he could put it back in. Like, he was peed drunk before, I'm sure. Like, I know it could be, like, signif uh, si signifying a breaking point. But he could literally just, like, put his his dick back in his trousers. Like, it was completely unnecessary. Also, Vag, like, everything. Like, there's so much nudity on the TV. And I feel like it's not contributing to the storyline. It's just not. The high school students they are supposed to be, like, 16, 17 or 17, 18, like, it's unnecessary. So if you're a minor, why do I need to see your boobs with your dick? Like, it's, com it's completely unnecessary. Top three characters. I love Maddie. I love Kat. Because I feel like I relate to her, almost. Not, like, the cam girl thing, or, like, have a good boyfriend that you don't love. But, like, not loving yourself. Like, and then, like, the whole, like, sequence was, like, girl, you gotta be a girl boss. And it's, like, sometimes you just can't. Like, you can't girl boss yourself out of it. You can't love yourself out of it. Like, if you don't like yourself, then it's hard to love yourself. So I just felt like that scene really touched my soul. Um, I'm gonna do maybe, like, a little euphoria kind of inspired makeup. So I'll put, like gems on it was so shiny i said i love maddie maddie's literally like i feel like she is <sighs> she's problematic right because i mean nate is worse than her but like in their relationship it wasn't helped by her either like she said and did things that were kind of like maddie girl we shouldn't be doing this do you know what i mean but Nate's worse than her, so I give her a slight pass. I like Kat, as I said, I already relate to her. I'm going back and forth. Um, do I even like three characters? Let's even think about that now. Oh, I like four characters. I like Fez. I think he's hilarious. And like learning about his backstory was so interesting, like with his mum and with his grandma and stuff. And, like, why he's so, like, why he talks like he's, like, so chilled out and stuff. And then we get to see his relationship with Ash. 
Ash is like, he's a bad ass. Like, he's 12 and he's like beating everybody up in the game. Like, Fez is not even that violent. Ash is completely. Like, he does not care. Like, he, he can literally not be speaking to his brother. But if anyone tries to talk mess to his brother, he is going for it. So those are the people I, who I like. I don't like Cassie anymore. I don't like Nate. Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> I don't like Rue. I don't like Jules. I don't like Elliot. I don't like Cal. I don't like um, that woman who's like a, who was who was like an ex elementary school teacher who's now selling drugs. I don't like her either. I don't like those people. They're very irritating and they're very annoying. I don't know if you can see like the sparkle, but it's really sparkling. But I kind of want to see where the season goes. Right now, it's not going well. Like it's not good. I'm not enjoying it. I just want more. Like I hope we hear more about McKay and we hear more from Kat, like besides the fact she doesn't love her boyfriend because there's other complex like issues. And I feel like they they filmed her. So like they have to put her in in a way. And I hope Ruth fixes up and looks sharp. I know that she has a drug problem and like it's hard to be because she's got so many issues, but I'm sick of seeing it and I'm sick of hearing about it. She needs to sort herself out. She's pissing me off. And then last but not least, as in the random topics, so I probably will talk about something else because I am not done. Um, Britney Spears and Jamie Lynn Spears. First of all, I hate Jamie Lynn Spears. Um, she's a snake and all she cares about is money. And I feel like, cause she's gone like around to do like a press tour, right? She wrote a book, all the things I should have said, but before was called I Must Confess, which is a lyric from what? Hit Me Baby One More Time, which is a what? Britney Spears song. And it's, she said it's about her life, but if it's about her life, obviously her sister is in her life, so she will take precedent, precedent in some of it. Is that what I'm trying to say? Can I speak English? But she's not everything, so why would you mention B Britney so often? Like, your life is separate. She can't have affected that many things for you, except the fact that she got you the role on Zoe 101 because you're Britney Spears' sister. Even though you work so hard for everything, right? You got everything right by yourself, so. And then she's gone around doing like, oh, Brittany locked me in the bathroom, da, 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 da. Talk about you, girl. If the book is about you and your life, talk about you. Don't talk about Brittany. You don't need to talk about Brittany about this, like. And then she's like going around and then the Call Her Daddy podcast. I'm sorry, I'm looking down, she's looking at you. Call, the Call Me Daddy podcast or Call Her Daddy, whatever the hell it's called. Like that was completely useless, like. Why are you talking about Britney? This is your book. This is about your book. And I don't believe she didn't know anything about the conservatorship. And I just felt like so pissed off when she was like, well. And I just told her simply that if she left the state, then, you know, she could, she could get out of the conservatorship. How is she going to leave the state, huh, Jamie Lynn? With what car, Jamie Lynn? With what passport, Jamie Lynn? How you gonna take me to court, Lewis? What address you gonna use, Lewis? What ID you gonna use, Lewis? How you gonna pay for these court fees, Lewis? With what freedom, Jamie Lynn? Like, it's not as simple as, oh, just leave the house. She was under surveillance the whole entire time. You were young many years ago, but now there's no excuse as to why you couldn't help your sister. I feel like the camera work is going to be completely shoddy because it's moved so much. She's a mess and she's a liar and the whole family's horrible. And I'm glad Britney's free now. Like, she's out of the conservatorship. So, uh, we get to see where that, where, where that goes. Sorry, guys. The camera work is going to be absolutely shoddy because everything keeps on moving. So, I'm going to go from the side to the middle to the side. So, just bear with me. It's been a while since I've done this filming thing. So... I apologize. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Also, I'm going to be using... Right, I've got these, like... You know when you order hair, you get, like, different lashes? I think I can use this one because I think I cut one lash. I did. Anyway, so I got this lash. Free with a wig. This is not the wig. Like, do you like my new hair? Like, it's... Basically, it was blonde. And then I dyed it orange and then the orange faded out and it looked kind of murky so i put this color over it but when i bought this color i thought that it was going to be pink like
baby doll pink but this is like wine this is red i've never had red hair before so i guess it's like a different change that i should try new things there's no point in doing the same same have you guys seen the new spider-man what did you think i can tell you what i thought i didn't like it not one bit first of all i'm i don't know it's been a couple of months so is it is it really spoilers if i talk about it but then i also said the new spider-man sorry for checking peter park is a dumb bitch he's dumb like there was you were told that these people are villains from another universe so you thought i can save them are you mad if they're villainous then there they'll be villainous with you like i don't understand and it's not oh he's a friendly neighborhood spider-man he thought he could save everyone is that smart you who who was a part of the avengers do you think in another universe thanos would be good would you try and save thanos make sense and make sense quickly you wouldn't you wouldn't at all so everything that happened was his fault and i don't feel bad end all and that's the end of it i feel like i'm just gonna keep on giving you like random subjects next subject joe pork so joe pork has actually stepped down as ceo from a wmg and higher music and you know what i can't say i don't feel i, I don't feel sad about it i don't feel happy about it i feel like it's kind of like, I don't know what the word is. I don't feel melancholy, like, but it's impactful to me because ever since, like, I've known of Jay Park, he has been the CEO of AOMG and then High Music. I remember when he started High Music too. So it's like, like, everything is changing. And, like, what does that mean? Like, life is changing so, so quickly. And then he released his last... I don't say last song, but it seemed like a goodbye song. It was pretty sad. Like, it was pretty somber. I didn't think it was, like, a happy song. And there was no cultural appropriation in it. So that was something. <laughs> but he should be proud of himself. He's achieved so much and opened so many doors for so many people in K-hip-hop, I want to say. I don't believe he started the game like he likes to say i feel like he made it a bit more well known and you know introduced people to a lot of artists and helped a lot of people and from the stories and whatnot i can tell it's it's seemingly that he was a loving ceo and that he's a really good business partner like if you didn't know um my baby boy loco my son he was a part of another label before joining AOMG and I guess to leave he had to pay some sort of fee and it was a hefty sum and Jay Park paid it and I think when he when he signed Grey I can't remember what he what, what he said anyway he was like if you don't like something you can just leave like not threatening and I feel like because he was under like tyranny at JYP so he knew what he wanted to do in terms of I'm spitting. Oh my god, I'm so disgusting. He knew what he wanted to do in terms of how to be EC how to be a CEO and how he wanted to run his company. And I feel like he executed that perfectly well. Um oh it's not Euphoria makeup without glitter. That's my intro for today, Euphoria. Everything about this video is very erratic. I talk about many topics and probably nothing that you're interested in. But if you've come back just to see how I am, I'm very grateful for you to like still be subscribed to my channel and to still make the conscious effort to comment and to, when I do check Instagram, which is almost never, to check up on me. And I'm really appreciative of you guys because sometimes it's really hard for me when I feel like nobody cares or I have no, I really do appreciate you guys. And I know I'm no one who's like big or I'm, my channel's growing, tiny 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 but um not too big and i just hope that you guys keep on supporting me um because you do make this channel this channel and even though i want to rebrand and make new content for you 
I don't know what kind of content. I need you to put comments down below. You know, I saw before, see, I've changed, I'm obviously erratic. I've seen before that you guys said, oh, like, nail video. I, when I do my nails, oh my God. When I do my nails, I feel like I always forget to film. And then I have like not a design in like in mind. And then like, it's always like 11 p.m. at night and I just wanna get my nails done because I've got work the next day. But I want to see what you wanna see from me. Like if there's a place in Seoul that you want, I'll put it in my lashes. If there's a place in Seoul that like you want to know what it's like, please tell me and I'll go. Cause I feel like, because I have, n I have nowhere to go and I haven't been going anywhere, there's no vlogs and there's probably nothing, but it's cause I have no ideas and no one to go with. But I feel like if someone is asking me so they can see like for the experience, I feel like I would go and check it out for you guys. So if there is, if there are any places, please tell me and I'll check it out. I promise I will. Um, wait so for my lips this is the most erratic video i've ever done it's like a makeup tutorial but not because i'm like not telling what i'm doing i for my lips i like the ghetto i use um eyeliner to line my lips my lips are a bit dry i can see them okay and then and then i usually put like blush for my lips and then a lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm using is Too Faced bond, Stocks and Bondage. Bit sexy for you. It's not bad. I'm looking a bit sexy. Um, what else do I usually do? Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching if you got to this part of the video, which is the end, and you've gotten through all my rambling about different topics you probably don't care about, but I just wanted to update you to show you that I'm still here, and I will leave an email in the description. If you do want to talk, then please email me. I don't want to use Instagram anymore, so I'm not really doing that. But please don't unfollow me in case like it's for a business venture. Cause you you never know what might happen but i love you guys so much and thank you for still being subscribed to me and thank you for subscribing to me if you have and i hope to see you guys real real soon and hopefully it won't be another three four month wait until the next video but thank you for watching bye